cut it. Cut my music, Eric. Uh, Eric, cut it. Thank you, Eric. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Brace for the Impact. We have returned with this show this week. And guess what? My name is Fat Bat Greasy, the true King of England champion, your former Greasy Revolution World's Heavyweight Champion, and your former TCW World's Heavyweight Champion of the World. And I am the leader of the Greasy Revolution. So tonight, we're going to give you all our rundown right here on Brace for the Impact for Thursday night's edition of Impact Wrestling. And boy, what a show this is going to be. We will get into it in just a few minutes. But all I have to say is, Eric, what, Eric? Yes, I know. I know. Violent by Design is new Impact World Tag Team Champions of the World. I know. I know it's so awesome. It's the big news in Impact history. It's been all over the internet this past week. And we will be talking about your address coming up this Thursday. I cannot wait. And you know what? Yeah, okay, Eric, you get you stay in the production truck, you take care of business. All right, ladies and gentlemen, sorry about that. Eric Young had to tell me about what was going on. But yes, I am fat back greasy. I don't have to worry about no any kind of guest tonight. I am the only one here tonight. I am the King of England champion. Nobody can do nothing about it. Not even stupid Santa Claus that needs to bring my greasy re revolution world heavyweight Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just, um, hi guys. Um, I was just uh, playing some glitchy game, getting a uh, show set up. But anywho, what's up, everybody? What's up, Fatback? How are you doing, good sir? Uh, I'm not too well there, Michael. Just come on. Okay, not too well. I got eliminated from the TCW Big Red Memorial Tribute Battle Royal. Did you hear about that? Yeah, I heard about that. And now, and now I heard I'm in, not in TCW anymore. Then I got drafted to EOW. I guess you will talk about that in your news, I guess, sooner or later. Let's talk about that news. Let's get to the TCW news. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the TCW News, and let's get right into the news. Just let you guys know, this Wednesday night, we are having the World Heavyweight Championship Battle, um, World Heavyweight Championship Tournament uh, to crown a new TC, uh, new EOW World Heavyweight Champion. Um, I cannot wait uh, for that tournament this Sunday, uh, this Wednesday. Um, also in TCW news, what a great fallout show we had last night. It was great jam packed. We had a lot of debuts, uh, debut there tonight. Uh, last night we had Sergeant Rob Bell. We've had, uh, Amy Quinn, uh, Alexa werewolf. Oof, baby. I don't want her. Um, Charlotte Ford. We had a lot of good debuts and no title changes. So, yeah, but that's it for TCW News. We'll get the rest in the update. Now bring him back on. You can bring him back in now. You can bring him back in. Really? You interrupt me, Michael? Really? I'm Fat Bad. I'm the King of England champion. I'm the former Greasy World, World Greasy Revolution World Heavyweight Champion. Ah, if you want to blame somebody, you blame management for all this stuff. Um, the TCW news, the AEW news, which there wasn't any, so thank God. But anywho, but it's we're we're getting close. Uh, yeah. 
And you know what? I have late breaking news that I just got during your stupid segment, by the way. What's that? You don't know? Oh, that's you right. You're competing in the tournament. Yes, that's right. I'm in the tournament. Against Willie Joe. I know, for real. But you'll get into all that news in your updates later. But also, there was a big breaking news I just got from the board of directors here at the Impact Wrestling Slams on. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, Fatback Greasy versus Michael Scarface to the feud of the century is happening at the Big Red Tribute Show. The main mm. of that show. All right. Can't wait to see that. So I am going to walk in to the Big Red Tribute Show, and I'm going to beat Michael Scarface because he cheated. He cheated and beat me at New Year's Resolution, and it's not going to happen again because at, at the Big Red Tribute Show, Michael Scarface, it's over, okay? Oh, but just to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, I am your your commentary uh, for that main event match and other matches that will be on the Big Red Tribute Show. So I'll be your your ring your announce the commentary slash ring announcer. Where did you get that news? Who who gave you that job, Michael Miner? Who, I don't know. Um, Scars gave me that job. I mean, I'm supposed to do the commentary deal for it so i'm yeah well that's fine i don't care as long as you don't interrupt me in my match do not interfere in my business do you got it i'll be sitting and i'll be sitting at commentary team so you don't have to worry about me i will be taking that podcast championship away and if you see michael scars Anywhere in the boondock city of Wisconsin, in the tree state, in the middle of nowhere, you better let him know, Michael Miner, that I will be sending him not to the tree state anymore. He won't be staying there in his stupid state of his of West Boondock City. He's going to be going to Paducah. Okay, that's where he's headed. He's headed to Paducah. Okay. okay, he's nowhere to be seen. He's nowhere going to be found because after I'm done with him, he's going to be history. He's going to be no more. He's going to be off the planet. Well, Dad. I heard he's going to be. I heard he's going to be on next week on Brace for the Impact. I mean, he's going to be having the TCW World Heavyweight Championship with him uh, next week on Brace for the Impact. Just a little little breaking news. He will be here tomorrow. Uh, Next week, it uh, looks like he got the week off um, from TCW uh, to do a lot of a lot of appearances. He's coming here to brace for the impact next week. He's going to yep. be here, right? Yep, he'll be here. Well, let the show begin because I have a lot to say to Mr. Cartoon Land, Mr. Oh, I got a Cartoon Network championship. I never lose it. I am the best ever, Michael Scarface, and I love to plant flowers. Yes. He doesn't plant flowers anymore. It's too hot to be doing that. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know what else I heard? He's got a new hobby, ladies and gentlemen. Michael Scarface has a new hobby. Do you know what it is? He loves he plays to play video games. No, he doesn't. No, he sh no, he don't. He jumps into Cartoon Land. No, that's what he does. No, Michael Scarface has a new hobby. He loves to plant flowers. He loves to do movie reviews, and he loves to shoot off fireworks. Yes, he sure does. He loves fireworks. Michael Scarface loves fireworks, ladies and gentlemen. And he can't get enough for fireworks. He's got to go to the fireworks stand and get him some firecrackers and go boosh. Because he loves the TNT championship. I know that much. But all I have to say is, Michael Scarface, come on. I'll see you at Brace for the Impact next week. You better be here because it's going to be 
over for you at the Big Red Tribute Show. So let's get on with Brace for the Impact. What's going to happen Thursday night on Impact Wrestling? So let's get on with the card. Let's talk about it. Michael Miner, what is your thoughts on Impact Wrestling this, this coming week? After Violent by Design is your new tag team Impact World Tag Team Champions of the World, what is your thoughts on Rhino cashing in that call your shot trophy? I knew somehow, some way that they were going to cash it in very, very soon. But congratulations to Violent by Design. Eric Young you used your brains right there, good sir. You got that sucker cashed in. So congratulations to them. And uh, can't wait to see what they're going to do with that uh, with the tag titles now because now Finjuice isn't champion. Yeah, they're not the champions anymore. Uh, they 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 might get their rematch maybe at Slammiversary. I heard they went going back to Japan. We will talk more about Violent by Design in just a minute. But let's start off. Who's going to kick off Impact Wrestling? It's going to be Sammy Callahan, the draw himself, the death machine he calls himself. He's going to kick off Impact. He's wanting to say his piece on what he wants. He wants that Impact World Championship opportunity. He didn't get it at Under Siege. He got beat up by the drunks. Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson costed him that match. So, Michael Miner, what is Sammy Callahan going to do? I know a little hint, hint from this uh, segment, though, Michael Miner, because Impact spoiled it. I'm not spoiling anything. I don't have the spoilers. You can blame Impact on this situation. They put up the promo up on their Twitter. We're going to talk about it because it's not a spoiler since they announced it. Okay, people? So, Michael Miner, we kind of know what Sammy and this happened during this match. Somehow there must have been a brawl, and then Don Callis uh, told uh, Doc Gallows, Carl Anderson, you seen it? You seen it on the yeah. Twitter, Michael, that Wood Brothers want a match against uh, Sammy Callahan and Moose. So this must cause uh, some uproar during that opening segment. Had to be. But I'm not giving spoilers. Just blame it on Impact Wrestling, people. Okay? Yeah, Don't I'll blame it on them. Yeah. Just blame it on them, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Don't blame it on Fatback. Don't blame it on here on Michael Miner. So what is your t- take in, on Sammy Callahan opening Impact? Uh, Boring. Don't care. Yeah, and we'll talk about the main event. Your main event of Impact Wrestling Thursday night will be Sammy Callahan and Moose taking on the team of Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, the bad uh, drunks. Uh, uh, you mean stu, stu, stutter moose? That's right, stutter moose, because I am moose. I will beat you. you. Up. Up. That's I can't stand it. I can't stand it. He needs more oh. mics. I know a lot of people will probably dislike that from me. That oh, Moose is the greatest wrestler in the world. They need to resign Moose. Blah 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 blah. I don't care if he's there or not. I know Michael Miner is the same way. He don't like Moose either. What's your thinking, Michael? What do you, what is your thoughts? Do you like Moose? You, should he resign or should he just leave? He should leave. I don't like the Moose anymore. I, I used to back then, but I don't anymore. I 100% agree. What he should do is just leave. He looks like he's taking all his talents to TCW. Yeah, he if he that or he can go back and play some football for CFL in Canada. He could. He sure could. So we're going to move on to the next thing. We just talked about Violent by Design winning the tag team titles. Uh, Last week on the episode of Impact, they will address the crowd or the Impact fans because there's no fans there, but they will address Impact Wrestling Thursday night. What is going to happen? Is somebody going to challenge them for the titles? We'll have to see. But I don't know who could. 
because I know that the, the drunks are busy with other things right now. And could we see Decay possibly challenging them for the titles? That would be a great match to see. Something's yeah. going to be building up to their match at Against All Odds. Michael, what is your thoughts on the address from Violent by Design, Eric Young, Doran, Diener, and Rhino? What do you think they're going to say? And who's going to challenge them next for the Tag Team Champions of the World? Uh, to me, for men to challenge them, I can see either um, DK or Finjuice getting their rematch. It's a possibility, but see, Finjuice can't get the rematch until Slammiversary, though. So who do you think it's going to be at against all odds? Decay? Um, yeah, either Decay or give it to Finjuice and then have um, Decay being the next challengers. See, I would love this, but they, they're not doing this, Michael. They got a feud between them two. I would love to see Brian Myers and Matt Cardona settle their score, be friends again, be a tag team, and be yeah. a tag team in that division. It needs to happen. I'm tired. I don't want to see them two fight anymore. No, nope, me neither. So yes, it's going to be interesting to see what Violent by Design Eric Young and them has to say. What Eric? You're not even going to tell me what you're going to say. Well, why? Why? Why are you not wanting to tell me? Yeah, tell last me. week you told us about what's going to happen. So, yeah, you told us what you were you were going to cash in. I'm like, come on, Eric. Okay, fine. You're keeping it a secret. I got you. And what? You got one thing to say for me to let everybody know. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, fans. What is it? Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, Eric. Michael Miner, I have late breaking news from Eric Young himself. The reason that Rhino hasn't answered Heath Slater's phone calls is Rhino doesn't give a crap about Heath Slater anymore. He said Heath right. Slater. Rhino said Heath Slater can stay in his stupid house in Fort Mill, South Carolina, and not even come back to Impact Wrestling is all he right. cares. About. So I'm happy that he did say that. Heath Slater, man, man, he's upset. He's really bad upset because that was his shot and he lost it. What's oh, going to happen? Too bad, so sad. What What do you think is going to happen if Heath ever shows back up in Impact Wrestling? I find that my design is going to beat the crap out of him. I 100% agree. Baby! Anyway... Let's move on. We got an, uh, uh, another match to talk about. It's going to be a knockout 10-man tag team match. Oh, dear it's God. Five on five. It's going to be Havoc. It's going to be Taylor Wilde. It's going to be Rachel Elrin. It's going to be No Danielle one cares. With Caleb with a K, we got to talk about it, Michael, and they're going to take on – the team of Fire and Flavor, Tasha Steels, Kira Hogan, the Knockouts, yeah. Perrazzo, Kimberly, and Susan in a Big Ten Woman Tag Team match. We had mm -hmm. last we had last week. Uh, Decay scared off Donna Perrazzo, uh, Fire and Flavor, Susan and Kimberly. I'm. Um, uh, we have uh, Rosemary and Havoc in this because Rosemary saved Havoc last week. Michael, your thoughts. Who's going to win this match? I will give my predictions right now in a few minutes, but who do you think is going to win this? And what are you looking forward to in this match? Um, I'm looking for Flava and them to, re, uh, to win that match and show their dominance. Wow. Wow. You got a couple of feuds here in a way. You have Donna Perazzo and Taylor Wilde having a feud. You have even Taylor Wilde and Tanelle Dashwood wants to be a tag team, and she Taylor Wilde doesn't want to be a tag team, and they want to face fire. Uh, Tanelle Dashwood wants to face fire and flavor. 
But Taylor Wilde's like, no, I want to face Don Perrazzo. What's the deal on that, Michael? I don't think the team of Don, um, Taylor Wilde, Rachel Elrin, and Janelle Dashwood, because Taylor Wilde and Janelle Dashwood, I don't think they're going to get along. They're going to be a, a stupid brawl against them probably in this match. It's going to be a DQ. And, Michael, I see this is what's going to happen at against by all odds. Taylor Wilde versus Donna Perrazzo at against all odds. Havoc and Rosemary versus Fire and Flavor at at uh, against all odds. That's yeah. my prediction. But my prediction to win this match, I have to say Donna Perrazzo, Fire and Flavor. I have to agree with you, Michael, because Taylor Wilde to Neil Dashwood is not going to get along in this match, and that's what's going to cost their team. Yeah. So that's my prediction on that match, ladies and gentlemen. We will move on to the next match, ladies and gentlemen. It was a tag team match, and this took place. This match met, was made in Swinger Palace, Daddy. It was awesome. The best segment in Impact Wrestling history, Swinger Palace, Michael Miner. What? Come on. What are you doing anyway? You don't care. What are you, you eating a popsicle? That's a dilly bar from Dairy Queen. We don't have those here. This show is brought to you by Dilly Bar. Get it at Dairy Queen. Make that, as, a, make that as an advertisement right there, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to advertise Dilly Bars. They taste so good. So, if Dairy Queen, if you're watching this, I'll be, I'll be, happy enough if you sponsor us because Dairy Queen is awesome by the way I love those uh what do you call non frozen upside down frozen blizzards blizzards that's it yeah fat back those but Michael Miner why on earth do you have that popsicle when I can't even get one in my state you know why I'm eating this because it's called I don't give two craps about Swinger Swinger's house or whatever match has been made from that show. It's going to be TJP and Follow Bob because TJP uh say follow Bob from Swinger Palace because he was dressed up in a dress like oh. a fella. So is his name cross dresser follow Bob? Okay. No, he's not. He's called Follow Bob. He, he, you know what he would tell you? He would say, "No, no, no." I'm a girl. I dressed up like one. <laughs> anyway, they're going to take on the team uh, of Petey Williams and Josh Alexander. And Petey was like, he told TJP, he said, "We were a team. Why you want a team with Follow Bob?" TJP said, well, me and Ba has more chemistry than I have with you. And Petey said, well, I see how it is. Well, me and Josh is going to beat y'all up next week. So this is happening. Oh, Tagging with a cross-dresser. I, I, well, I, I kind of agree with you there in a way there, Michael. But, yes, my take on this, I would love to see a surprise from Scott DeMore Coming out and managing Petey Williams and Josh Alexander. Hashtag Team Canada reunion. Oh, can't what? I'm sorry. I mean, no. I, 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 Eric, don't 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 tell the Queen that I that I said that. Okay. All right. Please don't. Okay. I don't want to be in trouble with the Queen. Okay. Queen of England. Can can we edit this uh, out? That Greasy was say, singing. The Canadian National Anthem. No, don't, don't, don't do it, Michael. Please. You, you, you just, you did not. No, I'm just joking. Gotcha. Oh man, don't do that. The queen, the queen would ban me from England if that happens. I can't, I can't have that happen. You know, I won't, I won't, I won't be able to go to the castle anymore. Okay, as um, ladies and gentlemen, as I always say on TCW Monday Night Chaos, I will be right back after these short commercial breaks. 
predictions, whatever, Michael Miner. We'll get into his predictions in just a minute for this match. But, yes, I would love to see uh, Scott Demore come back, manage Josh Alexander and Petey Williams uh, to the ring in this match in Team Canada. And also uh, TJP and Follow Ba. Uh, will they show up at Swinger Palace again after the match? We'll have to find out. I see TJP and followed by losing your winners, Josh Alexander and Petey Williams, to win that match because I just don't see TJP and Fall Ball. I, I figure maybe one of them's going to turn on one another. That would be cool to see. A few between them two, we'll have to find out. But Josh Alexander is your X Division champion of the world. And I heard, people, there's a big match. There's been late-breaking news on the Twitter, on the news sites, on the wrestling news sites, that there's an X Division match taking place either at the next couple of weeks on Impact Wrestling or it's for Against All Odds. We have no clue. I heard this match is a match of the year candidate. Uh, I don't know who's involved. It has to be Josh Alexander because he's the X Division champion. And they said that this X Division match had lasts over an hour long. I'm hoping it's against all odds because if they put it on Impact Wrestling, it's going to be commercial overload. So we'll have to find out. But that's in the news stories as well. We'll talk about a little bit of news at the end of uh, Brace for the Impact tonight. We have a new segment. We'll get into that in a little while. Uh, but, yes, we're waiting on Michael Miner to get back. So, yeah, uh, but that's all I have to say on this match. We will move on to our main event of the evening featuring Sammy Callahan and Moose taking on the Good Brothers with Don Callis and possibly Kenny Omega at ringside. So, now... We all we have to do is Michael Miner back. Yeah, I don't even know. But it, like what? breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, I can't tell you, but right now Michael Stars is outside mowing the lawn. He is outside mowing the lawn. He is right there. He just went by with the title around his waist, mowing the lawn outside. I, I can't show you because Stars will kill me if I show him mowing the lawn. He's outside downstairs mowing the lawn, ladies and gentlemen. We can put that out as his, as is his new thing. He's Ooh. ow! What you hear before, ladies and gentlemen? Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, I got late breaking news outside as well. It's raining! It's raining! Yes, it's raining. It, it is, is raining, raining men. Hallelujah! It's raining men. I'm excited. Hey, we got we gotta add we gotta add some spice to this show. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I mean we gotta add some comedy to uh this show. <laughs> oh, there we go. We got some laughter, ladies and gentlemen. We got a laughter button here. Let me press the laughter button. Ah, there we go. We got laughter. Yep, yep, I know that was funny. I know it was funny. So. Okay. Yeah, let's let's get into your prediction. Who's going to win this match, Michael Miner? Um, I'm going to go with Alexander and P. Williams. Awesome. Did you hear the late breaking news that I heard over the news sites? That I don't know if you heard it while you were on your commercial break, but there's an yep. X Division match. From commercial break. There's an X Division match. They said it's going to be a match of the year candidate, and it's going to last over an hour long. So, really? what is your thoughts on this news? I hope it's on against all odds because if it's on Impact Wrestling, it's going to be commercial overload. Yeah. I don't know if I'm looking forward to it. It's going to put me to sleep. Well, it must be an X Division Iron Man match. That's my only thinking. Uh, but I'd love to see Ultimate X. Come on, Scott Demore. Well, we're we'll going to move. See. We're going to move on. It's raining here in wherever, wherever I'm at. I don't even know at this point. 
But anyway, it wasn't even supposed to rain today, but it's raining today, and I don't know why. But anyway, let's move on. Moose. Sarsha sent you the rain, that's why. Yeah, he's mowing his lawn, and he sent rain here while nobody can mow the lawn here at the studio. I understand. I understand it. Anyway, we're moving on. Sammy Callahan, Moose, taking on the team of the good drunks, bad drunks, whoever you want to call it, fall off the porch, get drunk, get injured, who cares? Kenny Omega is probably going to be with them at ringside with the drunks. Who is your pick? Who do you got winning this main event of Impact Wrestling? It's not going to top last week's main event. I'm going to tell you that much. Um, I'm going to go with the Good Brothers winning because something's going to happen. I think Kenny Omega is going to get involved. He he certainly he he certainly is going to get involved. We all know he probably is because he's the Impact World Champion, AEW World Champion, TNA World Champion, AAA World Champion. So it's going to be. Hopefully, he'll lose all three. So I hope that would be awesome. It'd be awesome to see him lose next week. So, Michael Miner, my prediction is going to be disqualification. No, no winner. It's going to be a no, no, no decision match. And then this leads to a build up. Sammy Callahan's probably going to get into it with Moose. Moose going to get into it with Omega. It's going to be a big brawl. Who gives a crap about Moose? But yeah, that's that's our yeah. that's our predictions on what's going on. On Empire Wrestling Thursday night, we don't have a BTI match because they never announced it yet. They'll probably announce it tomorrow. But you know what? Who cares about the BTI match? It's a jobber match anyway. So, what's your thoughts on everything? And what do you think BTI is going to be? Just a jobber match. That's what I say. Yeah, I think so too. So, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That concluded our Brace for the Impact preview for Impact Wrestling coming up Thursday night. And Michael Miner, let's get on with the uh, Impact Wrestling News very quickly. Not, 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 not having a drawn out set of fans. All right, short news here Don Callis leaves as EVP. Eddie Edwards has appendicitic surgery. Uh, Eric Young has ACL surgery. Uh, what else happened? Moose has said he does not know if he's re signed or not because he's drunk. Uh, what else happened? Uh man, Chelsea Green's talking with Impact Wrestling. Uh, new teaser, the- Slay's Jump. If you didn't see the new teaser for the um, uh, Slammiversary. Yeah, go ahead and talk about that, Michael, while I'll take a quick commercial break. Okay, while well, he takes a quick commercial break, ladies and gentlemen, um, if you guys don't know, late breaking news, there's been another teaser video um, out on uh, Twitter from them that we are going to see um well the way of the yes uh chance it looks like we might see um yeah we might see uh daniel bryan be in there i guess that's it for our breaking news <laughs> that's cool that's awesome news daniel bryan will be epic for empire wrestling if he shows up but it needs to happen with a crowd okay Slammiversary needs a crowd. And by the way, before we get on to the end of this new segment, and Forgotten Sons could possibly show up. Too. Pat Rasslin, Steve Cutler, Wesley Blake. I can't wait. If they show up, it's going to be epic for the tag team division. And it would be something to see them face violent by design for them titles. Yeah, there you go. And the Iconics, Billy Kay, Peyton Royce, is also teased as well. I would love to see them in Impact Wrestling going after those tag team talkouts, tag team titles. But, ladies and gentlemen, that's all the TNA Impact Wrestling news. We're going to get into the big updates on the channel. So, let's, Eric, we're going to start the updates for Impact Wrestling. We'll get into Michael Miners. I know we're running out of time. I understand that. All right, let's get on to it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Big Red Tribute Show is happening. The big main event has been finalized. Fatback Greasy versus Michael Scarface for the podcast World's Heavyweight Champion. Michael Scarface is finally defending that belt. He's never defended. He's like, oh, I never, I'm undefeated. 
I'm Mr. Scarface. I don't lose this belt. I'm not never going to defend it because I'm Mr. Cartoon Land. I'm Mr. Flower Planter. I'm Mr. Movie Review. I'm Mr. Fireworks. I shoot up, set up firework displays. I'm just the best ever. I love my Bugs Bunny cartoons. I love Tasmanian Devil, Mickey Mouse. Oh, there you go, pal. Yeah, shut up, Michael Scarface. You're nothing. You're nothing to me. You're nothing to fat, bad, greasy. You're nothing to the greasy revolution because when the greasy revolution finally beats you at the Big Red Tribute Show, it's going to be over. It's going to be over for you. You're going to be off the planet. You'll be off the grid, Michael Scarface. You're going to be not. You're going to be gone. You're going to be history because the greasy revolution is going to take care of you in your stupid little cartoon land. Your stupid firework starter, firework display, whatever you want to call yourself now. We don't even know what you want to call yourself. Oh, I live in the boondock city of Wisconsin in the tree state. Oh, I love this place. I'm Mr. Scarface. Well, you know what, Scarface? Show up next week at Brace for the Impact, and we will see what you have. We ain't seen you in forever on the Impact Rise and Slams on. We will see you soon. Michael Scarface, because if you don't show up at Brace for the Impact next week, oh, by the way, oh, you're out there mowing your stupid lawn. Well, you know what? What do you are? Do you have to get a mower lawn job now, Michael Scarface? Is that what you got to do because you don't get enough money? You don't get paid enough in TCW? Is that what it is, Michael Scarface? Oh, I, I mow lawns. I'm a, I'm a cartoon man. I love fireworks. I love planting flowers. I'm Mr. Scarface, and I'm the best ever. No, you're not. You're not. I'm the best. I am the best wrestler in England history. I am fat, bat, greasy. I am the best, best world's heavyweight champion ever. I'm the best wrestler in the world because I am... Fat, bad, greasy. I am the King of England champion. I am the Greasy Revolution World Heavyweight Champion. I am the best. So we will see that match at True Big Red Tribute Show. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, we also have some late breaking news here. We got a, a free preview coming up on in the month of July as well. We have Massacre at the Zone returning. It's going to be a big Battle Royal main event. I don't even know. I heard an air-conditioned guy's in there. I heard he's in the match. I heard uh, Big Red and Big Bubba. Uh, big Red, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, this was taped years and years ago. We're going to air it here. Big Red had an excellent match. I've seen the match already. He faced Big Bubba, this guy named Big Bubba. So in, in tribute to Big Red, we're going to show that match in its entirety here on this channel. It's going to be epic to see, uh, for all the fans to see that as well. So that's coming in the month of July. Stay tuned for that, ladies and gentlemen. And by the way, I got to get out of here soon because I am I am tired. I've, ha I've had a rough night here on Brace for the Impact. I had to deal with Michael Miner, and I heard about Michael Scarface. So, yeah, that's all the news. Also, Asylum uh, Reviews is coming. Larry Auto Pro, we will have a special Aces and H reunion reviews coming up as well. But that's all the news coming at you uh, live right here at the Impact Rise and Slams on. We will bring Michael Miner in. Eric, bring him in. Eric, please bring him in. Thank you. Yeah, what did you think of those late new breaking news here at the Impact Rise and Slams on? Awesome news. Can't wait. Is Michael, what in the world? Man, was that the Aces and Ace or something? Ah, oh, man. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get with uh, Michael Miner's uh, updates and for his TCW updates and everything. Michael, we're running out of time. We've about got five minutes left, I think, Eric says. we got to get going soon. But, Michael, take it away, Eric. Go, go, go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the late breaking news for um update for TCW, yeah, TCW real quick. I'm sorry, I bit my tongue there. Uh, for TCW that um, we've got uh, Full Metal Mayhem coming up 
Um, this tomorrow night we have EOW's Tournament of Champions uh, coming up. We have the World Heavyweight Championship Tournament uh, coming up for that. Um, also this weekend we have a surprise show coming out called um, Brand Warfare. Instead of having three brands, we're going to have four brands uh, all in one show. So guys, get ready for that. Cannot wait for that. So that's it for my news. Awesome job there, Michael Miner. And can you let Mike, uh, Michael Scarface know to get off his stupid lawnmower and get to the studio next week because be is waiting on him. Don't worry, he'll oh. be here. Okay, before we get out of here, what, Eric? I know, I, we got to talk about that video real quickly. Mass Man, did you see that video, Michael, the past couple weeks? They said they're yeah. here. And then Pat Wrestling, WWE Slams on is gone forever. Man, what do you think before we get out of here? Uh, hey, let's they, see what's going to happen. Are they here? Yeah, are they here? Hmm. I don't know. I hope not. But anyway, we, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that more late breaking news with the mass man. You'll probably hear more from them. I, I would assume so because they're crazy. They create chaos here. But what? What, Eric? I know. I got, we got to go. We're running out of time in five, what? Four, three, two, one. Eric, don't, don't, what? No, don't hit the button. What? We got to go to the announcer lady. Okay, awesome. Okay, we're going to get out of here. Michael Miner, you have anything else to say before we head out? Okay, that is awesome. I am Pat Backreasy. Ladies and gentlemen, please follow us at Impact Wrestling uh, Impact Slams on on Twitter. Follow Michael Miner at AEW Slams on 32 on the Twitter machine. We'll see everyone next week for Brace for the Impact for the debut, a return of Michael Scarface is coming back to Impact Wrestling Slams on. Also the debut of Michael Scarface on Impact Wrestling Slams on because he was on WWE Slams on. So, yeah, stay tuned for that, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll see you guys next time. And we are going straight to the announcer lady, Eric. Play the announcer lady. Announcer lady, go, go. Thanks for watching the TNA Wrestling Fan Summer. Stay tuned next week for more fun, action, entertainment brought to you by GTM Productions. Be breezy!